Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on understanding Pinnacle 21 issues in HTTM datasets. So this video is part of the playlist which is titled Pinnacle 21 issues. So if you have started watching this video as the starting point, so I suggest you to watch the previous videos because I have covered some de details extensively in the previous videos. So in this video, we will see an issue that may occur in HTTM LB dataset. So here we will actually see two kinds of issues. So the first one is inconsistent value for LB test within LB test CD and the second one is inconsistent value for LB test CD within LB test. So this issue basically arises because if we are not meeting the requirement that within a data set the LB test CD and LB test should have one to one relationship. Say for example we cannot have same test CD but different test values on different records. Uh, alternatively, we cannot have same test value but with two different test CD values. So I am using the example data from HDTM IG 3.3 and I have tweaked the data such that I could create this issue. And we'll now go to the data which we have here. So what I have done here is for uh, albumin test, so on one of the records I have changed the LB test CD to albumin in full uh, here and on the, one of the records for ALP so I have truncated the alkaline phosphatase so here what is happening technically is within the same test value we have two different LB test CD values so this will cause us the message inconsistent LB test CD within a LB test so here in the next case so here if you see we have ALP ALP and we have two different values within LB test. So this would result us in a message saying that inconsistent value for LB test within a LB test CD. So let us see how this message gets triggered first and then how to fix this. So let us now go to the SAS program which actually imports my example data and then creates it. So I am importing the Excel file which has the issues first and then converting it into XPT. So we'll now go to the validator Pinnacle 21 community. So let us choose the validator as we are using example data from HDTM IG 3.3. I have chosen the configuration as HDTM IG 3.3. So let us select our XPT file. So I have selected it. I am using the control terminology whichever was available. So it was 25th March 2022. So for this issue, this does not actually um, matter on what control terminology we are using. So our report has been generated. There are around 17 messages. So let's open the report. So we know what was the issue so i am directly jumping into the detail sheet if you see here so we have the message inconsistent value for lb test within lb test cd so this was triggered for alp which is alkaline phosphatase on one of the record we had alkaline phosphatase and on the other record it was truncated and similarly we have the message inconsistent value for lb test cd within lb test so this was for albumin on one of the records lb test cd value was alb on the other record it was albumin so this is showing that message now let us go to the excel file so let us now assume that i have fixed the issue so on the one of the records where the test cd was albumin i have now changed it to alb now it has one to one relationship between ALB and albumin. Now similarly I have fixed the truncated value of alkaline phosphatase and I have made it in full text. Now let us try to import this file and then try to generate our P21 report. So here we have used our newly updated or fixed data set as input and creating the XPT file. So let us now go to the validator again and choose the latest available file so let us click on validate it took some time and then now we have around 12 messages was generated let us open the report and then see whether those two messages are now disappearing so here if we see we do not have the 
messages which were related to inconsistent value for LB test CD within LB test and vice versa LB test within LB test CD. So one other thing to note here is that other issues also were disappeared here. If you see there were messages which were saying that LB test value not found in laboratory test name extensible code list. So in the standard control terminology, we will have a test name of alkaline phosphatase and we would not find alkaline PHOSP. So as the value was truncated, this message actually has triggered additional messages which were related to control terminology. Similarly, it also said LB test CD value not found in laboratory test code extensible code list so it this what this means is that there is no standard control terminology value for lb test cd with the value of albumin so whereas in fact it should have been alb but it has been wrongly populated as albumin so once we fix the issue of albumin to alb so this message got removed and then other inconsistent value related things were also resolved sometimes so there can be multiple messages triggered just because of a single uh, discrepancy in your data set so if you fix that one particular issue the other messages may also get disappeared on their own so thank you for watching keep learning